as you can see there's four logs and they've all got a taper on them so unfortunately I managed to forget that being an economist assume that the, there wasn't a taper now the two on the left are wider than the two on the right you can see that from the spirit level basically about four centimeters in it and the opposite true is true at the other end so luckily what I'm gonna to have to do is move two of them and they're both next to each other so I'm gonna move the two on the right drop them in the water spin them around and then it should be all right again well I've got my waders on and as you can see Barbara bought them for me for Christmas very useful although I'm not a fisherman anyway as you can see I've dropped two logs in at the end now the great thing about logs as we'll find out is they'll float generally most of them so it's easy to spin them around all right well as you can see I've got one of them back which isn't difficult because moving stuff in water is easy well moving logs in water is easy as I'm not the world's strongest man, I've gone back to the quad bike. Easy to move them around in water, but not to pull them out of it. I suppose they get heavier, but it's quite a weight. I'm not Superman. Well, there we are. That's uh, one done. Now to go and move the other one now. Well, that's the second one moved. Not difficult, especially when you use a quad bike to give you the extra grunt. So moral of the story, measure the width of your logs before you put them on. Don't assume the same at both ends. Now, of course, George is a clever chap, so he's going to work out pretty rapidly that it's going to be sloping to the other end because all the thin ends are all over there now. So I'm going to have to put a piece of wood under the thin ends to make sure it's flat. Don't want George the Greek falling off when he's Greek dancing. <laughs> 